Welcome everybody to Waterbox Live. It's Wednesday, Rich. Every Wednesday, 12 p.m. Eastern, you guys. Facebook and YouTube. Wow, dude, we are super excited, pumped, because we're talking about ATO systems today. One of the most essential components it is in a reef aquarium, major, I believe. Major, major, major piece of equipment. Guys, stay tuned. We're about to start the show. Share it with your friends. Comment, questions. Let's go. Welcome back, everybody. Listen, it's Waterbox Wednesday, and we should just kick it off, Rich. Yes, I think we should give away some bracelets, because we've got a lot of these things. A lot of them. So the first, let's say, five people that say and comment, I love Waterbox, we'll go ahead and pri uh, private message you and get you some of these uh, bracelets. They're really, really cool. Wow. Glow in the dark. Glow in the dark. It's awesome. <laughs> so um, Jason, Francois, they're waving. They're here with us. Rob giving us a thumbs up, we appreciate it. Patrick loves Waterbox, we love you too, Patrick. Yes, yes, Patrick. Jason, I love Waterbox, he's getting a bracelet. Francois, he's getting a bracelet. Listen, they're coming in. So, we're, today we're talking about ATO systems. What does that stand for, Rich? So, ATO, you guys will probably hear that a lot, you'll see that a lot online. Well, what does it mean? It means auto top-off system. And what that's gonna do is it's going to automate topping off the evaporation water in your aquarium. Yes, and the water box actually provides this reservoir mm -hmm. uh, in majority of our tanks. The Silver Marine um, and all the Platinum and Crystal series Correct. have this reservoir. Um, and, and so the whole concept behind, behind an ATO, as you said, is, is to, for evaporated water. Right. So. Uh, one of the things we understood was real important when we designed the Silver, Platinum, and Crystal Series was to have some sort of reservoir to make it easier on customers to understand that importance of that and to kind of automate it. Mm -hmm. Now, we don't include the auto top-off system with our tanks because everyone's got their own personal preference, but yep. we do have one that we recommend, uh, which you see here in front of us, which... Uh, Dean has actually put together a really nice video yes, on yes. how to install it here on our 100.3 build. Absolutely. So let's go ahead and watch that and show you how to hook up this new XP Aqua system. Let's go. Today on the 100.3 build, it's time to install the auto top off system. We got a new one here from XP Aqua. Really, really great product, guys. It is the first of its kind that actually holds four sensors uh, to maintain optimal conditions. Let's dive in for a closer look at what's inside the box. So we got a manual here. Got some tubing. Looks like a little tiny pump there. This looks like the controller and the magnet. Got a solenoid valve. Got a power supply. A holder. And an AC outlet. Now let me explain to you guys real quick what the ATO system looks like on the water box. This front chamber here is the, we call it the dry side, okay? This is where the fresh water is going to go, not salt. And this is your pump chamber, and this water level will continue to drop as the water evaporates out of the tank. Now, the salt doesn't evaporate, only the fresh water does. So the salt level actually starts increasing if this water level is not maintained properly. Hence the reason we need an ATO system. So first, what we're gonna do is uh, the sensor. This is a four sensor module, and what's gonna happen is this is going to be your main water level. It's going to hit this level. And in case of an emergency, if this fails, this backup one will hold us where we need to go. It has a magnet on it. So what we'll do is 
actually place this exactly at the water level that we want. The next step we're gonna do is actually take the tubing and attach it to the pump supplied. And just simply put that pump right into the dry side. Next, we have to actually install this siphon brake into the line. What happens is it has to be above the water line of the ATO system. So we're gonna go ahead and cut this tubing. making sure that we have air that can get into this line right here. And then, we're gonna bring this over here, and we're gonna cut this tubing again, right about here. So now we're gonna install this holder, which is gonna hold the tube on the other side. Let's just simply put the tube right inside there that we can clip this right to the side make sure this is nice and snug so it can't fall out now let's go ahead and fill up the reservoir with water before we go ahead and plug it all in remember just plain RO water it's now time to go ahead and plug in the cables to the controller itself, which is great. It also give you a little mount, and we can go ahead and mount this just next to all our EcoStech stuff to make it real clean. This diagram kind of shows you how the whole ATO system works. Uh, this is your reservoir here, or the pump. It gets pumped up through the siphon brake. It goes into your actual sump level here, and this is your sensors showing you the water level going up and down. And here's the controller on the side, and it's got four sensors on this thing. Real easy to install, great product. I'm real excited about how easy this unit was to install on our 100.3 build. XP Aqua has really gone out of their way with this four sensor unit. Super easy. I really encourage you guys to pick up one. You can buy this at waterboxaquariums.com or any of your select retailers. Let's dive in for a closer look at what's inside the box. Welcome back, everybody. Listen, a couple shout outs, Rich, to a lot of people that are watching. Rob, uh, Ken Brown, uh, Alcino, Michael, Russell, uh, Ricardo, Mitch, uh, Ken Brown, Scott Crow, JP, Erica, Alex, Mitch. Um, Mitch says that's an awesome setup. They are. They're really great. Wow. And good, great job on yeah. that video, Dino. It's yeah. very informative. So, guys, as you, as you can see here, we, XP Aqua has a number of different auto top off systems. Yeah. You know, they go, they range, you know, from about $130 up to about 200. So what you see here in front of me is mm -hmm. the ultimate ATO system. And Dean, this is the one that we installed on the 100.3, right? Yes, yeah, the ultimate um, series. Yeah. So this retails in the United States for $199. Mm -hmm. Turnkey, plug and play, includes everything you need, four sensors. Yeah, I think it's the, it's the first one I've ever seen that actually has four sensors on it. Right. Um, it's a really, really fantastic product. Yeah, some of the unique features I like about this product is it has the uh, the siphon brake yes. included. Yeah. I, I don't think I see that with many yeah. systems on the market. It's very small. The form factor is real small, which is nice. Mm -hmm. It comes with an AC pump, yep. which is great. Great. So right out of the box, I mean, hooking it up to a, a Platinum Series, you're ready to go with ATO. Absolutely, yeah. So also it has an alarm system on it. So if the water level drops too low in that reservoir, right. it's gonna it's gonna set off an audible alarm uh, to let you know, hey, 
we got to add some more water to the system so you don't right. burn out the pump. Right, yeah. exactly. And that's a really unique feature. And the way they do it is very different than any other ones. Yeah. Uh, the other model that you guys are going to see here is the Duetto. So this is your base unit. Um, this, is gonna, this is going to include basically the two sensors, mm -hmm. right, Dean? Yep. And the pump. Now, if you go up to the Ultimate, retails for $199, it's going to have a solenoid valve, it's going to have a couple more mm -hmm. things built into it, plus right. the four sensors, this is two sensors. You know, this would work good on like what, like our all-in-one systems? All-in-one systems, yeah, it'd be great. Uh, even like the cubes and stuff like that. And I think it's yeah. sufficient for a, a platinum as well, sure. but yeah, if you absolutely. want that added layer of protection, yeah. it's, definitely, like the, it's like the ultimate, you yeah, know. Yeah, I mean, like, you it's a nominal investment yeah. for, the, mm -hmm. for the added layer of protection you guys will get with this XP Aqua system. For sure, for sure. Also, they make a sumpless unit uh, tell us about that, Rich. Yeah, so the Sumpless unit is really unique. I think I, I think this is the only one on the market like it. So mm -hmm. it's designed if you guys have like a rimless tank and you don't have a sump. Hmm. So what this what this does is basically this is a a pre filter here, and when the water level drops in that pre filter, it triggers the ATO system. Gotcha. So if gotcha. you don't have okay. a media chamber in the back of your tank or you don't have a sump or something like mm -hmm. that, this is a perfect system for that. Um, again, very versatile systems. Very yeah. high quality, and they all retail for under one ninety nine. Dude, that's awesome! So I said it's such a key part of aquarium keeping that people it kind of goes uh, overlooked a little bit. You know, I mean, right. um, so because there's some other uh, systems that have float valves, right? You know, and we want to avoid that float valve issue. Right. Um, I think that's a, something you want to stay away from yeah. in an ATO system because this is a vital part of your uh, aquarium. So mm -hmm. float valves tend to stick. You know, they, they fail over time, and these optical mm -hmm. sensors are much more reliable. For sure. And for the price. You can't go wrong. Yeah. You can't go wrong. So what is the smallest tank, Rich, that these could actually fit on, that you would say? You know, you could really use this on this particular model here on just about any one of our systems, but mm -hmm. I would say reasonably, probably 10 gallons and up, because right. you're not really going to have to top off those small tanks very often. That's true, yeah. Um, so your swing shouldn't be that that big, but definitely silver, platinum, crystal series. You have to invest in this. We've put the ATO reservoir built into the sump for a yeah. reason, and these are reliable. Absolutely. So um, where can people go and buy this awesome unit? Well, <laughs> so Waterbox is very selective over what products we say to use with our aquariums. Right, right. And XP Aqua is a certified partner of ours, so you okay. can buy these right on waterboxaquariums.com. And I think there might be a number of other online retailers that we partner with of as course, well. Yeah. But again, these are available on our website. The Duetto is one twenty nine, the Ultimate's one ninety nine. Absolutely. We're ready to ship. Yeah. So also, I know that some people also don't realize that when they have an RO unit for the reverse osmosis unit, you're trying to make clean water for your water changes. Yeah. Let's say you're you have a designated. Uh, barrel or trash can that you're you're filling up you can actually hook up one of these units to prevent the ro unit from overfilling like say you get busy yeah. you forget that the water's on because yeah, it takes that's a, while. a great investment yeah. i can tell you dean in my early days yeah. i've ruined some carpet <laughs> yeah uh so the wife didn't like that yeah very much. you know so you're like, this is an added layer of protection for that too absolutely. absolutely you know a couple hours later you're like oh crap man i'm <laughs> Yeah. I left the water running on my RO unit. So this will actually shut the, the unit down, um, which is really a great, great preventative thing. Mm -hmm. um, another couple more shout outs here. Let's see. Um, Alex says, got to love the fail safes. Uh, Louis says, I love water box. Rob says, awesome. Hello, all. Uh, Mitch says, you're right, Alex, Murphy, uh, Jason, and Slim. Jeff, these look like cool ATOs. Um, Jessica's giving us the wave. So, wow, we got a lot of things. Got some questions? We got Robert Crunk uh, on YouTube. Yeah. Chillers need it. And he also says, I love your tutorial videos. That's why I'm going to buy an aquarium from you guys. Wow. Well, Robert wants to know, are chillers a necessary piece of equipment? Well, that's a double-edged double question there. Because, yes, I do believe chillers are important, but with the... Uh, advancement in LED technology, um, <coughs> the heat that's generated from the tanks is very minimal. Yeah, it's you know, so nominal these days. And really, yeah, yeah, with, with LEDs and stuff, it's, it's pretty rare now that you need them, but as you yeah. add more and more equipment to the tank, equipment. it does add heat. Correct. 
Um, so that's kind of just something you're gonna have to figure out. If you live in a really hot climate, yeah. you may need one no matter what. Yeah, like, you know, what is the ambient room temperature uh, going to be? Is it, um, you know, I said, but now, I said with the LEDs and the DC pumps and, and, and stuff that's going on now, it's really lowering the temperature needs, you know, yeah. on the tanks for sure. And if you're anything like me, you like to keep the room temperature about like, you know, sub freezing. Of course, so. yeah, it's like an ice box around <laughs> yes, here, guys. Yes. I wish so, you could feel what it's like. Everyone here knows that I like it cold. <laughs> yeah, so, um, but definitely no issues there. Um, if we have any questions, comments, concerns, uh, you want to say hello to us, ask us what kind of sandwich we're going to eat today, uh, we'd be yeah. glad to help Put you out. Put in the comments, guys, and make sure yeah. to like us on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube. Yeah. We're also on Instagram. We appreciate everyone joining. Yeah. Guys, this is, check these auto top-off systems out online. And Jessica says, I live in southern Florida, and I don't run a chiller. There you go. So there you go. Um, I said it all just depends uh, yeah. on everything. Um, but the ATO systems, guys, very, very important piece. Definitely do your homework, do your research on the auto top-off systems. Uh, I said a lot of uh, hobbyists, some new people are just tuning in. They're like, you guys keep using these slang words, you know, ATO. Yeah, what's an ATO? Or, or, or LFS. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so, so ATO is auto top-off system. Uh, definitely check those out. Um, Mitch says, I live in southern Louisiana and use no heater. My temp stays 75.5. Hmm. So... That's great. There you go. Everyone, um, everyone's got a different story. Yeah, and talking know, so about temperature, Rich, next week we're going to talk about heaters and skimmers. Yes. Um, very important on our 100.3. Temperature control in the 100.3 build. So that's yeah. a very important aspect. So we're going to do that. We're going to uh, finalize this build. You can see it there. It's really looking sharp. Uh, I mean, this thing is pretty much ready to go. We're getting there. Uh, we're, we're, we're getting close to adding fishing super, corals to this thing. Super close. So really, really great. Um, I'm trying to think. If anybody else has any other questions, comments, definitely share. We appreciate you tuning in today and being with us at Waterbox Live. It's Wednesday, guys. Appreciate it.